We had an accident just outside our radio station at the corner of Y Road and Main Street on Thursday. Bishop Police Lieutenant Josh Ellsworth told us that the driver of the car fell asleep and the car took out a light pole. The driver's daughter, who was in the back seat, was fortunately unharmed. And both mom and daughter were transported by Simon's ambulance to the hospital, where other than some bruising to the mother from the seatbelt, they were both thank- they were both thankfully fine. The CEO of Southern Annual Hospital, Peter Spires, wants to thank the public for its help and support of the hospital in the past year. Hi, this is Peter Spires, Chief Executive Officer of Southern Annual Hospital. Just want to shout out to all of our workers here and everyone who's helped us grow this hospital over the last six months. During a period of two to three years, the hospital experienced some distress. But during that time, the community rallied around us, the staff, the physicians, and helped us get back on our feet. We are so grateful for that. We're grateful for the community support that's given to our foundation and helped bring new equipment and services here. For the patients who come back to us and who we serve, without them, we have no reason to exist. We are now expanding services here so that we can have more local access and provide more care to those we serve in the community. We thank you so much. I thank my staff, my physicians, our board, and all who are involved with the rebuilding of this hospital. We're here to stay. Remember, we're the small hospital with a big heart. Looks like we might be having some rain and snow in our forecast this coming weekend. And by the way, do you know what they call two straight days of rain in Seattle? A weekend. And now for the Eastern Sierra News weather report. What do you have for us, Dennis? Okay, looks like it's a lucky day for all of us. That's if you like a winter storm. A big, slow-moving winter storm is coming this weekend with heavy mountain snow and rain and snow in the valleys. Very windy in Mono County, peaking Friday night into Saturday morning. Snow will move into the area Saturday with the heaviest snowfall Saturday night into Sunday. Snow levels down to 5,500 feet look likely in Mono County with the potential of snow down to the Owens Valley floor Sunday morning. Snow totals by Monday over Mammoth Mountain look like one to two feet possible. That storm looks to stick around through most of next work week as it migrates down along the SoCal coast. So an additional one foot looks possible by Thursday, above 7,000 feet. There's still some timing details to be worked out, but it's safe to say it will be a wet work week for all of us. For the Owens Valley today, sunny 68 and 33, and for Saturday and Sunday, sunny Saturday, a 30% chance of rain and snow showers. Sunday, 62 and 31 Saturday, and 62 and 30 on Sunday. For the town of Mammoth Lake today, mostly sunny skies, a 20% chance of evening snow, windy, 50 and 28. For Saturday and Sunday, a 50% chance of snow Saturday becoming 80% Sunday, 40 and 26 Saturday, and 33 and 24 on Sunday. This is Dennis Mattinson for Sierra Wave Media, and no matter what, have a great go-do-it weekend. Thanks, Dennis. That's it for the Eastern Sierra News this week. I'm Charles James. Remember, you can tune in to Sierra Wave anytime at Alt 92.5. And for more news 24-7, visit us at sierrawave.net. Good day and good luck for tomorrow.